Right, okay guys, so now we are going to um, just adjust some of these profiles, mirror them, uh, and then loft this so we can get our, our fuselage. Again, this isn't going to be a perfect fuselage, it's just to give you an idea of what how I've done it. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to the first, um, first profile, we're going to edit the sketch. We are going to left click on the little vertice at the top, go to move copy. And then what we can do is if you select one of the green balls and then you hold it down, hold your left down, you can drag it and manipulate it. Okay, and what we're looking for roughly is a an egg. Do the same for this one. Okay, I'm gonna hit finish sketch. We're gonna actually right click edit sketch, sorry. Click there, hit mirror. It's got one selected. We need to select the mirror line, and then we're gonna that's it, mirrored now. So we have both sides to it. So we're gonna finish that. And that's what we're gonna try and maintain for the rest of them. Um so we're gonna oops, sorry. So we're gonna edit sketch. Okay, so what we're trying to do now is is now th this is not perfect. If you want the perfect angles and things like that, then you're going to have to work it all out. But for me, kind of eyeball is going to be good enough. OK, so that looks not bad to me. As I said, it's not going to be perfect. Again, edit sketch. Mirror. Select the mirror line. That's the mirror line, finish sketch. Okay, we're gonna do that with a third one. So we need to pull that out a little bit. We don't want it tapered in. We don't want it too low. That looks pretty good. <coughs> that okay okay that looks all right mirror pick the mirror line that's the face we want to mirror on second half good next one gonna edit sketch actually I'm gonna start with the bottom one because that's what I've done with the rest of them Go to the top. Go back to the bottom. That's not quite right down there. Okay, that looks not bad. Okay, and we're just gonna. I should actually just mirror it while I'm in the the edit sketch command, but it's just a lack of experience. Okay. Second last one. So now, now this is obviously uh, getting smaller again. You've been over the canopy, and now you're going into the back of the fuselage. So you just need to bear that in mind. And you can, you know, you can do this to your heart's content. And as I said, the 95% that we that we're looking for I means you don't have to be perfect because a lot of this can be sanded out and you know quickly. But you want it to be as decent as possible. Because that will give you less work later. And if you're a sticker like me, you'll probably try and find to get how you get it exactly right or nearly exactly right. Um, I've been doing a lot of research and things like that. As I said, I wasn't really, I haven't been a fusion user before. Okay, edit sketch. <clears throat> We're just going to mirror that. For some reason, that's not working.
not sure why that's not mirroring. Looks like it's on the point. It's not picking up the lane. Okay, let's try it again. I've just reverted back a little bit. Let's try that again. I really don't know why that done that, but... It's okay for the move copy. Let's just now mirror this. This shouldn't... Yeah, it's got it selected now. I'm not quite sure why it done that, but anyways. Okay, now the last one. Look from the back. Let make it quite sharp at the back, just make it a little bit different. Okay. So now we've got all our profiles, as I said, it's not going to be a real fuselage, but you get the idea now is you create your profiles, <coughs> you mirror them, and then we can now loft them. So you go to create loft, okay, and what you want to do is, don't worry so much about what's in here, as long as you get the right things. So we need the profile here, that's good, went the blue profile. Start to take shape. Okay, and now we've got a <clears throat> something that resembles a fuselage. Okay, and you know the only other thing I would probably do at this point, you know, you can go back in and manipulate everything. So if I go back and I edit a sketch here, okay, and I decide actually, do you know what? I need this to be. Um, I need this to be like fatter like this for for example go to because it's went actually went back in the timeline down here you can see it's went all the way back and you're editing a sketch and now what it'll do is it'll recompute with your change to the geometry so you see it's changed the nose there and if we do it again let's just say i want to really puff out the this part of the uh, fuselage i'm gonna do the same with this. So let's just say like that. Yeah, you can see it's pushed out the fuselage there, etc, etc. So you can mess about with it until exactly you get what you want. So the last part I'm going to do quickly, oh, sorry, I've not got enough time for it in this one, I'm going to show you how to shell next quickly. Okay, thanks.